I'm here with who? Ryan Murakami. AKA UDF champion, back to back. Before we get into this video, where have you been and do you still play Yu Gi Oh like time to time or like what, what's going on? Just curious. Um, yeah, I got in, I started playing like a month ago again. Um, I played YCS Vegas and then um, I didn't play LA, but uh, I play this regionals. Dang. Just, uh, you know, right. start playing again. And you, I believe you were the, were the only X2, me in top eight, I believe so. Yeah, I snuck in. Um, Get yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That usually never happened. But congrats, yeah. back to back. I would not be surprised. Um, what deck were you playing uh, for uh, for the Vegas region? No, uh, Labyrinth. All right. Um, and before getting to the video, you want to give any shout outs before getting to the deck profile? Um, yeah, shouts to um, like Dio and Top Choice Gaming. Only borrow cards. Um, shout out to my friends uh, Zach and Joe. Basically, um, let me borrow like half his deck, so I have to spend <laughs> money, which is nice. That's good. That's good. We all know this game is very expensive. All right, no yeah. chit chat. Uh, I'll feel free to show the wonderful deck you play. Yep, um, I think it's like pretty standard. Three lady, uh, three on Oriana. Just want to open her. Uh, one of her. Um, I played one clock. So, well, the reason I play her because I main Erad, and then um, basically if you open just like any two labyrinth cards and you play the clock, you could uh, Erad them turn one. So, I just like try to like usually if they're playing over forty, all Erad spells. And then, uh, even if they're not, then I have, like, a decent hand. I'll see spells. Because even if you hit, like, only one or two cards, usually you see their hand for information. So I always thought that was pretty good. And then, you know, during the tournament, every time I resolve the for spells, it just blew them out. So that's why I play him. Um, and just wanted this guy. Uh, just spells. I did two extravagance, one duality. Um, I like Extrav. If you open these two and they just ash your Extrav, then you could just uh, Prosperity after. So I thought it was pretty nice. Um, and three Prosperity. And for the traps, three big welcome, three welcome, three skill drain, three punishment, three compulse. Uh, I just want to play a lot of like the spar removal traps because um, your uh, monster effects like uh, Oriana draw, lovely pop, and the um, welcome resets based off like, or it triggers based when you remove a monster by a trap card. So I just want to play as much of those as I could. Um, three evenly for one second. Uh, Two terrors, two D barrier, one goes in, one E red, and one trap trick, and that's forty in the main deck. All right. Uh, before getting to the, the main and no, the extra deck and side deck, uh, whichever your yep. preference. Um, was there a time that you kind of missed playing two, part of duality at least two or three? And um, yeah. Um, not that I think of during tournament because I only play six pots, right? So it was like pretty rare. I, I draw like both of them, so I was only saw like one extra of um, one prosperity, like just one of the pots usually, and then um, you know if you see one of them, you rather have like the prosperity or the extravagance over the duality. So yeah, it worked out for me. Makes so sense. no complaints. And, uh, would you play Solemn Strike in your build or not really? Uh no, I side judgment, but I didn't play um Strike. Okay, for sure, for sure. All right, uh, you can show the extra or side, uh, whichever um maybe you feel comfortable. Okay. Um, what else to decide. Uh, so one second, gamma. Package, um, shifter. This is mainly for runic, and then um, um, just like combo decks. Like if they're playing the toad sprite, it's pretty good. Uh, also put in brandy going second because I feel like the only way brandy really beats you, um, post side at least in my case, is if they jinzo you. So usually um, that jinzo spells and things. So usually if you shifter them, they have the hard draw expulsion or open like insanely good. So um, I liked it. And against math mech, it's pretty good too. When uh, I beat one math mech and and uh, Swiss. Um, and goes in the third D barrier, um, second like ERAD, and then two anti spells. Um, it's mainly for cash. You, uh, post side, you go first, it's open like anti spell or ERAD, or even both, and then they usually just can't play. And then, uh, three judgment, just good going first card, and then it stops like Lightning Storm evenly. And stuff. <laughs> Makes sense. I guess <laughs> that, yeah, those cards just like destroy you. And then extra, it's just mainly all, um, punishment stuff. Three of these, the draw one. Uh, send the draw one, three to test. And you just max them out because you play extravagant, so you want to at least have like one target life still. Um, and then you like Gamma, so one Omega. Um, two Sebris. This is if they do Jinzo you, and sometimes they like, um, I guess branded the explosion like preemptively, just I don't know why, just because they want to. So if they do that and summon Jinzo, you could um, summon Oriana, get um, a lady, and then make Sebris to pop the Jinzo. So it never came up, but um, that was I was thinking of. Um, one of her just for like if I play against like a towers deck, just out it. And uh this goes to OTK sometimes and um 
this guy is me of like skill drain up and then you're playing against like um if cash is the field spell you know their guys are over 3000 usually with never rise heart or whatever so you just make this guy into a skill drain and usually gets you there against those decks makes sense makes sense um, and yep that's about it uh i was surprised uh no dragoon no henley prison and odo's other cards uh what's your uh thoughts or insight of those cards um so you're already i didn't like the dragoons package because you play like what two you play the two vanillas right so yeah. that's like two bricks and you already play a brick with a lovely so oh, okay, okay. uh i i never tried it but i was thinking like really wouldn't be consistent um and i played uh i just played one heavenly it's I don't know. You don't want to draw multiples, and I found one to be okay. Makes sense. And before getting to this video, uh, before um, ending this video, um, are you will you be going to watch this uh, Philadelphia or something like that or national? Uh, no, I don't plan to. Okay, for sure, for sure. All right, your boy Cyberwar ninety two is signing out. Thanks for the deck profile, man. Peace. Yep.